Jesus. Lord, we just praise you. We magnify your name, God. We glorify your name. Lord, there's none else like you, God, in all the world. God, in you we move. We live and we have our being. Lord, we thank you, hallelujah, for this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. And we thank and praise your name, God. And, Lord, I just thank you for our pastors, God, Pastor Barbara Matthews, God, and Pastor consistent pastor brother Lorenzo God in the name of Jesus Lord that you have anointed them to preach the word to us God and carry it out through all the land God and in the name of Jesus God we just give you all the praises all the glory for this is the day that you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it and Lord I just thank give you praise glory and honor for it tonight the scripture is coming from Deuteronomy 5 6 through 21 and the name, the subject title is Back to the Basics. You know, it's a lot of things that's happening in the world today. Our young people, God is concerned about our young people. Lives been cut off. Hallelujah. Uh, when, he, when he promised long life and good health. When he promised children obey your parents in the Lord for this is right. For in you, God, we live, move, and have our being. And, and we're going to do the run with five the fifth chapter and the sixth verse. The Lord made not his covenant with our fathers, but with us, even us, who are all of us here alive this day. Hallelujah. And we drop down to the Ten Commandments. I am the Lord thy God who brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Thou shalt have none other gods before me. Thou shalt make the any, not any graven images, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the waters beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visited the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy and thou to thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God name in vain, for, God, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Keep the Sabbath day to sanctify it as the Lord thy God has commanded thee. Six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God, and thou shalt not work, do any work. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And I'm going to jump to the um, 16th verse. Honor thy, honor thy father and thy mother as thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Honor hallelujah, thy father and thy mother, as the Lord thy God has commanded thee, that thy days may be prolonged and that it may go well with thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill, neither shalt thou commit adultery, neither shalt thou steal, neither shalt thou bear false witness against thy neighbor, neither shalt thou desire any neighbor's wife, neither shalt thou covet thy neighbor's house, his field, his manservant, um, maidservant, his ox, his ass, or uh, anything that is, in, that is thy neighbor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And these words which I command this day shall be in thine heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Deuteronomy 5 and 7. And th thou shalt teach them, your children, God is saying, thou shalt teach them dil diligently unto the children and shall talk of them when thou sittest in thine house and when thou walkest by the way and when thou liest down and when thou risest up and thou shalt teach them diligently thou shalt care hallelujah have care for them and love them hallelujah unto the unto thy children and shall talk of them have devotion with thy children at home teaching them scriptures and ha hallelujah, Matthew, hallelujah, 6 and 9, the Lord's Prayer, teaching them how to pray. Hallelujah, and read the word and learn the word. The Lord's Prayer and the Bible verses. Uh, James 1, 22 said, to be a doer of the word and not a hearer only, knowing that we all must be doers of the word and not hearers only. Proverbs 22 and 10 says, hallelujah, train up a child in the way she could go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. 
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Back to the basics. God wants us to go back to the basics. Hallelujah. A lot of us have missed the basics. Hallelujah. Just like a child being in school. Hallelujah. Kindergarten, first grade. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We have to start back because a lot of our children, a lot of us, hallelujah, don't know these, these scriptures. But we need to go back and learn them. Hallelujah. These are, this is a schoolmaster. When they go to school, they have to start in a lower grade. Uh, I either elementary school, hallelujah, after elementary school, hallelujah, they have to go to high school, have to high school, college. So these are the basics. Go back to the basics, hallelujah, and train up the, a child in the way that he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Back to the basics, the Ten Commandments again. Thou shalt not have no other God before me. No house, no no house, no car, no clothes, self, pride of life, work of the flesh. Hallelujah. God want to be all. Hallelujah. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images to honor something you have made instead of God. Thou shalt not take the Lord thy God name in vain. A lot of people are using profanity and calling God name in it. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Hallelujah. Everything that, uh, uh, that you, you want to make an uh, image instead of God. Hallelujah. And these commandments, I'm going to read again. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not lie on, on, on anyone. Hallelujah. P making, being a false witness. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 God will supply your need. He said, I will supply your needs according to his riches and glory. You don't have to steal. Get in him. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And let him bless you. Hallelujah. And definitely not kill. Hallelujah. It, it, it's a place that. That, that must be done in wars, uh, 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 the police department or where it's done, but we don't pick up guns and just go get angry at somebody and, 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 and just shoot them and kill them like they're an animal or something. People care more about animals than they do people these days. And, and we just thank God that he's raising up people that will teach people how to love him. And, and, and one of the uh, 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 lawyers in the New Testament actually Jesus, which is the greatest commandment of them all. And Jesus said, thou shalt love the Lord thy God first. First, you got to love him first. Thou shalt, oh my God, my God, my God. Matthew 22 and 37, Jesus said unto him, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. And the second is like unto this, to love your neighbor as yourself. On these hang the whole law. Hallelujah. That was 600 and about 13 commandments. But Jesus broke them down. Hallelujah to you to two. Because he know that if you love him first, hallelujah, the all others will come in place. Love thy neighbor as thyself. And before, he, when he had his dinner with the disciples, the last dinner supper with his disciples, and he went about, hallelujah, washing their feet. And when P, he got to Peter, he said, Lord, not my feet. Hallelujah. But Peter knew uh, 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 the concept of this thing. He knew that when somebody traveled and had on sandals, the, uh, uh, the servant of the house will wash the feet of the one that's coming. And he, he, Peter knew that Jesus, he didn't think Jesus was a servant and should do that. But Jesus said, if I not wash your feet, you have no part with me. And, 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 and Peter said, oh, Lord, not my feet only, but my hands, my head. Hallelujah. So, so we just thank and praise God that Jesus was teaching them humility. Humility. And we all must have humility in order to gain uh, uh, in Jesus. Hallelujah. He loved that. And, and let's see. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. And we're going to go to 1 Corinthians 15.33. Don't be fooled by those who say such things, for bad company corrupts good character. A lot of time our children, we train up our children to be one way, and the next time we know things start changing in them, and hallelujah, you don't know them a few months or a few days later because they done picked up somebody else had attitude. And we must get that training in our hearts. And our children at home, this is what Deuteronomy is saying, teach them, teach them. It's, it's, it's very important these days to teach your children if, because they don't know. Train up your children. Train them up. Now, I had problems with, I, I had two boys. And, and uh, once I come from church and 
Uh, God told me on the way home, he said, go home and tell your son that that gun, hallelujah, and, and, and in his glove compartment, he said, if he don't take it out, he going to jail. So I felt the spirit of God when he, when, when he was moving on and telling me that. I went home and my son was uh, uh, ironing his pen. He loved to spray starch. He used to love to spray starch his pants and put creases in them. And, and he was in his bedroom, and he, the ironing bowl was up, and he was ironing his pants and uh, uh, creasing his pants. And I went to his, the, the door of his room, and I said, Kenneth, I said, God said, if you, that gun that's in your glove compartment, if you don't take it out, you, you going to jail and your car going to Kemp. And so he said, oh, my, yeah, my, yeah, my. So I went to bed. I was working and I went to bed early during that time and late on that evening, hallelujah, the phone rung. And so I answered the phone and it was my son. And, and, and he said, mom, come get me. I said, where are you? He said, in jail. I said, I'm not coming to get you. I'm, I'm not coming to get you because you didn't go by what God had told me to tell you. And, but but uh, his uh, mother-in-law went and got him. So Another one of my sons, like, like I say, I have two sons, the older one. Uh, we was having dinner for a holiday. I think it was Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And I went up there and saw my older son. He, he was drunk. I'm just going to tell you like it is. He, he had, had a, a lot of drinks. So he was getting in his car. I said, hey. I said, Charles, I said, don't get in that car. I said, you need to go in there and sober up and, and, and before you uh, try to drive home. And he said, oh, Mom, okay, I'm all right. And so he went on anyway, and that night, his wife called me and said, Miss McQueen, I said, huh? He said, child told me to call you to tell you that he was in jail. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and your mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. A lot of children, hallelujah, that I, I, I didn't know them personally, but I knew of the situation, that some had slipped out windows, mama think they're in the bed, or daddy, the parents think they're in the bed, and they done slipped out the window, and the next thing they know, the children are dead. The police come and tell them the, the child, and they goes in the bedroom, that these are teenagers, teenagers. If you hear this message, obey, obey your teachers, Obey your pastors. Obey your the gr older people, grown people, those that have rule over you. Hallelujah. God will bless you. Long life. I asked some when I was in the detention center. I said, do any of you know A.G. Gaston? And, and, and some of them didn't know and some of them did. I asked them, I said, do you know how long he lived? And they said, no, ma'am. I said, well, he lived 100 years old. And I said, God promised long life, so that's the kind of life he wants you to have too. But he wants you to get saved. He wants you saved. He wants you sanctified. He wants you deliver, ha, delivered so you can serve him. God looking for young people. He's looking for young people to raise up and use them for his glory. Hallelujah. We have little kings in the Old Testament. Joash and different little kings was oh, six years old and began to be king. A lot of them done got killed. A lot of them have done that. Uh, uh, God have mighty callings up on your life. And this is a message to turn young people. Turn your life around. Hallelujah. Jesus love you. For, hallelujah. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That whosoever can be a drunkard, a prostitute, a lawyer, a doctor, anybody who give their heart to him, Jesus will receive you. The day is the day of salvation. Jesus love you. Jesus love you. Parents, Jesus love you. If you're not saved, baby, y'all get saved and get find a church home. This is a good church home that you could bring your family to. This is a good home if you're not married. Hallelujah. But you can come. We got children church. Hallelujah. Teen church. We got Sunday school. Hallelujah. And your children will get the right teaching and training. But you got to do your part at home. Hallelujah. The church can't do the raising that you need to do. If you are not saved, hallelujah, repent. Hallelujah. When Jesus came, John the Baptist was the forerunner of Jesus. He came teaching, letting them know that there was a man coming named Jesus. And hallelujah, but he's the forerunner. He introduced Jesus like a hallelujah guest speaker or somebody, introducing somebody. Hallelujah. But John, 
He will, his, 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 his ministry was repent ye, for the kingdom of God is ha- at hand. There's one coming. Hallelujah. He talks about, there's one coming. Hallelujah. Who is mightier than I. Hallelujah. He will receive you. I'm telling you today. Parents, fathers, father, obey your children. I mean, to father, hallelujah. Don't, don't be, uh, uh, cause wrath to come on your children. Hallelujah. They are, uh, uh, provoke them. Father, don't provoke your children. Hallelujah. But love them. Bring them up in the nourishment of the Lord. Hallelujah. Train them. They need training. I, I was living, we was living on the hill, uh, Enon Ridge once, and it was a family move from Aliceville across the street from us. And hallelujah, the lady she had about four boys and one girl. But one of the boys, you know, in the cool of the summer, they used to, people, some of the teens used to come and sit on the album, screen in push. Well, my mama heard the mama say one day, you don't have to train boys. And my mama said, he can't come on this push anymore. She said she don't t- train her boys. But you have to, mamas, daddies, holly, grandmamas, whoever got the child, you have to train these children. They just don't grow up, hallelujah, like weeds. You got to train them. You got to put God in them. A lot of them will be changed. A lot of them will be better, saved, if you would do your part. This is a cry. God is crying out. He's tired of sin. Hallelujah. Just picking up a gun. Hallelujah. And they are no more. Hallelujah. So two families have lost. The one did it and the one didn't. Hallelujah. But anyway, Jesus love you. Jesus love you. Jesus love you. Give your heart to Jesus. He said, repent ye, repent ye. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Hallelujah. Uh, Nicodemus, he was a ruler of the Jews. He came by night and asked Jesus, Rabbi, we know that thou art teachers that come from God. But no man can do these miracles except God be with him. Hallelujah. And Jesus told him, say, you must be born again. Nicodemus, hallelujah, didn't understand. He said, how can a man be born again when he is old? Can he enter the second time in his mother's womb? Hallelujah, Jesus said. Marvel not that I say unto you, you must be born again. But anyway, we got to be born of, when we are born of the spirit, we got to be born of uh, flesh, and we got to be born of the spirit. Hallelujah. So I just pray in the name of Jesus that you hear this message today. Hallelujah. Repent. Bring your children to church. If not this church, find a church that teaches from Genesis to Revelation that don't teach hate. Jesus is not hateful. Jesus is loving. Hallelujah. He died on the cross for you. He died on the cross for all of us. Hallelujah. 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 Be saved today. Jesus love you. In Jesus' name. 